today's reading is going to be for a Sagittarius. Shuffling the cards. This is going to be a three card reading. Past, present, and future. Again, for my Sagittarius friend. And two, three. Can you see these? Of course you can. All right. Let's see what they have to say. This three card reading will give you a deeper understanding of your current circumstances. So the first card, which is um, your past. Free spirit. Express yourself and allow your spirit to feel free. Be aware of the confines and restrictions placed upon you by yourself and others. This is your past card. This card represents your past. And this mermaid says it's fun to feel free. That doesn't mean shirking your responsibilities. Being free might kindle romantic thoughts of a nomadic lifestyle. Do you feel free? Your work or your home life might bring feelings of restriction. If this is true, take a look at how you can change things. And talking with your loved ones about how you're feeling can really be helpful. You can find that they offer to help with the chores and your domestic responsibilities. And that frees your time up to do the things that make your heart and soul sing. Let's check the next card. Card in position two. This card represents the present right now. Communication. Pick up your phone and make that call. There's something you need to communicate and now's the time to do it. Let me show you with this card just a little bit better. You can see the mermaid communicating with the turtle. This shows that communication can take many, many forms. It's not only verbal, but can also be telepathic. Perhaps you have feelings that, perhaps you feel that things were left unsaid in a recent conversation. Sometimes we can get tongue-tied during an honest encounter and the words just don't flow. It happens to me all the time, all the time. And if this is the case, you can write a letter or an email or even a text. It's vital that you articulate the things that are important to you by writing them down. And this is a great way to do it. Then you can choose whether or not to send these emails or texts or just to get rid of them. You'll know what to do. You can burn them, you can keep them for another day, or send them. This mermaid is also saying you could be called to mediate between someone else's communications to ensure that both sides are heard. And it could be time it could be time to become uh, consider becoming a counselor 
or maybe you act, or maybe you have something you need to get off your chest. There's a lot in the communication card, and it could be all of it. It really can. Let's check card in position three. Hope. I love the hope card. Hold on to hope. So the, before we go there, I'm sorry. Card number three is your future. It represent, it represents your future. So hold on to hope. When things feel hopeless, change your outlook to feeling hopeful. Trust in, trust in the magical flow of life and love. Now let's look at this card. This mermaid can't see the sun shining behind her through the clouds or the vibrant rainbow. She's totally absorbed in her own world. All she needs to do is look behind her and she'll see the symbols of hope all around her. Can you relate to her situation? While it's important to acknowledge any pain and perhaps fear of the future, combined with the feeling that hope is lost, it's equally important not to harbor these feelings for too long. Release them knowing in your heart that hope can and will return again. And although it might feel like it, you're not at the mercy of your feelings and any, any external circumstances. Each and every situation can be turned around so that, so that you can recognize and nurture feelings of hope. Simply looking at things from another perspective can literally shine a new light on your life and bring hope to the forefront once again. So how about trying to make meditating on your blessings and the positive things in your life a daily habit? If you do, soon you'll change your heart and your mindset to a positive one. I promise you. If you find yourself thinking hopeless thoughts, imagine them turning into clouds and visualize them floating out of your mind. In your mind's eye, see a beautiful, vibrant rainbow filling, filled with hope beaming into your heart, filling it with vivid colors. The sun is shining. Hope is present. You just need to open your heart to the possibilities and miracles that a renewed sense of hope can and will bring. So, my Sagittarius friend, there now is the time to allow your free spirit, that one from your past, to emerge. When you're in a harmonious relationship with your inner spiritual needs, everything will naturally fall into place. Don't leave. Don't leave it unsaid. And again, it, you don't have to. You don't have to make that phone call. Put it in a text. Put it in an email. Delete it. It doesn't matter. You do not have to send it. Just get it off your chest. And again, hope. It is everywhere. Everywhere. You just need to open your heart to the possibilities and miracles 
that a renewed sense of hope can bring. So my friend, I hope you like this reading. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe, share. You guys have the best day ever. And um, if you would like a reading, three card reading of your own, uh, send me an email. I will leave a link in the description box below or get a hold of me in the comments. I will totally get back to you with that. You guys have the best day ever and I will see you in the next video.